Alright guys, so today I'm going to be teaching you how to god bridge as well as uh, drag click. And I'm also going to be showing you my mouse setup for that. And I think this is probably one of the best ways you can do it if you have two mice. Um, it's way easier and you can get more CPS doing this. Uh, it's not guaranteed, but give it some time and you guys should have it down pretty soon. So I'll cut to my, uh, my mouse setup and then I'll show you guys how what to expect for god bridging and then uh, how to god bridge so see you there this is my uh, setup for my mouse I have my mouse that I'm gonna be uh, drag clicking on here taped down so with, with just regular scotch tape works perfect and the reason you want to do this is so that uh, you can drag click well without uh, your crosshair moving anywhere. So I have my normal mouse here so I can move around in Minecraft and stuff normally and then when I want to switch to god bridging I can just go and drag. It's that simple. That's the best way to do it in my opinion. So yeah. Alright, so this is what you guys can expect from uh, god bridging once you learn how to get it down pretty good. It took me around two weeks to get this far, so, uh, like, not for this one try, but to be able to do this fairly consistently. Uh, so that's not bad for learning time, but uh, you definitely got to work towards it if you if you want it bad. Uh, so I encourage you guys to uh, do your best on it, and I, I believe in you. Uh, I was really doubting myself, but as you can see here, my all my hard work paid off. Alright guys, let's get to the most important part of the video, how to god bridge. So, you're going to want, while shifting, line up your crosshair right on the top uh, line of the block. And then, from there, you're going to unshift and start drag clicking at the exact same time. So, I'll just sh show you here in a second. One moment, I'm just getting warmed up. Alright, let's do this. So, unshift and spam your drag clicking, walking backwards and shifting after three blocks. Exactly how I'm doing it. Now, you can do it differently, um, but it, this is the easiest way without strafing, because strafing makes it harder, at least for me. Um, so every three to four blocks, depending on how far you can go by yourself without shifting, depend is going to te uh, tell you um, whenever you're going to shift. Uh, so it is possible to go up to nine blocks, um, but I haven't gotten to that point yet. So I would recommend just practicing being able to get to three blocks while god bridging, and then you can shift and unshift again and keep going. And from there you can work your way up. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's get on to drag clicking. Alright guys, so now I'm going to show you how to drag click, since this is probably one of the most important steps of god bridging. So I'll paste my uh, CPS counter in while I'm doing this. So for, for how I drag click, uh, I have a piece of, of duct tape right on the top of the mouse button. So that helps so I don't have to like put water on my hands or yeah it just it just helps it just helps uh, makes the make the clicks uh, go faster so you're pretty much just gonna want to relax your finger and let it vibrate right over the mouse button so I'll show it from a different angle now and I'd you I'd give you probably like an hour to an hour and a half of practice and you can probably do it around the same as me so I'm getting like this is how I do it when I'm god bridging so I get between tw like I get in, in 20s and so that's how you have to have consistency when you're god bridging so that's why I do it like that but if you do have a longer mouse button or a different type of mouse you can it will work for you to do long drags 
see I'm getting like the highest I'm getting is like 23 or 24 ish maybe but I just like this version better because you can get more consistent higher CPS so that's how uh, you drag click uh, hopefully this video wasn't too cringe if you guys liked it um, drop a like I guess and I'll catch you next time